fast fade optimization right so here we need to initially we need to fix the cost function so the cost function nothing but um, calling that objective function that means we are going to minimize the error of ac voltage controller dc voltage controller at the current controller okay so here we are going to call uh, that means we are going to measure error right e1 e2 e3 and e4 so e1 e2 e3 e4 okay so e1 nothing but uh, error of uh, ac voltage controller e2 nothing but error of dc voltage controller and e3 and e4 nothing but the error of uh, current controller that means error of uh, d axis current and error of q axis current okay so we are going to call this uh, you have to measure this uh, from that link model and then uh, store it in the z so here is it is nothing but objective function okay so here we need to call that uh, pass function and then here uh, we are going to optimize the six variable that mean kp and ka of ac voltage controller dc voltage controller and current controller so totally uh, six parameter right so we need to optimize that six parameter and these are basic uh, uh, initialization of the task and optimization so here so we need to provide the uh, the variable that mean low, uh, lower bound upper point and velocity limits and maximum number of iteration number of hours okay so you have to provide the detail and then initially you have to provide the position initial uh, position of the power uh, position of the powers and then cost of the power cost means objective function value for a, uh, each horse position right and then velocity everything right so initially you have to generate the uh, a random uh, horse function right initially you have to generate the random horse position right and random uh, velocity okay and then you have to calculate the objective function cost right objective function value based upon the uh, horse position and then you have to store as the cost function okay and then from that you have to calculate the global twist value so this is the initial uh, that been for random initialization of horse position and then you have to calculate the cost for the each horse position okay and then from that you have to calculate the global best okay for initial uh, horse positions okay so next this is the main loop so in main loop that mean you have to initialize the parameter of a horse scale optimization so this is the uh, initial parameter of that uh, horse scale optimization and then here you have to uh, that mean you have to find out the different parameter right that means you have to provide uh, that means you have to um, calculate the the cost position counter okay and then you have to calculate the mean position and then you have to calculate um, bad position or good position that means worst position and good position and then based upon that uh, cost position counter right uh, we have to that means we have to differentiate, differentiate the, the different kind of pass right so here you can see that if cc value is less than or equal to 0.1 so we can call it uh, called as alpha pass okay when cc is less than or equal to 0.3 we can call it as beta pass when cc is less than 0.6 we can call it as the gamma pass okay so if so see if cc is not allowed to this Three, right then we not uh, we need uh, we, we called as a delta hours. okay yeah, this is nothing but uh, uh, the differentiation of passes based upon age right so so here you have to uh, differentiate based upon the cc and then you have to update the velocity for the uh, the different uh, category of the pass okay so after updating right we need to update the position right position also you need to update okay so here you have to update the position okay and then you have to apply the, uh, the position limit okay and then again we need to calculate the pass function that mean objective function for a updated horse position right so 
after uh, calculating cost right and uh, you have to find out the global best so after calculating global best so it keep on executing up to 10 iteration right or how many iteration we have provided here right so based upon that uh, iteration uh, number right so it will be executed finally we will get uh, the optimum value for a kpk of voltage dc voltage controller ac voltage controller and the current controller okay now i'm going to open this one that means sumling model so this <coughs> sumling model of that uh, the state com connected with the power system uh, this is programmable voltage source so here we are generating around 15 kilowatt okay and then here we are varying the amplitude of that uh, source right uh, initially it will be 1 and then 1.1.1 1 .1 1. so sorry <laughs> from 0 to 0.2 it will be 1 okay after 0.2 it will be 1.1 1 .1. after 0.3 it will be 0.9 after 0.4 it will be 1 okay so here we are creating that uh, sagan swell right uh, the voltage level is 15 kilovolt right the, and also here also already we multiplied with 1.077 so already here we are creating that uh, system having some voltage swell right and then this is the uh, source uh, resistance and inductance and this is feed at 21 kilometer feeder and this is uh, local load 3 megawatt and 0.2 and then this is 2 kilometer feeder and then this is a step down transformer 15 kilovolt to 600 and here we are using 1 megawatt load and variable load so here only we are connecting that uh, state com right so state com uh, is going to be connected to the system in parallel by means of this uh, uh, transformer right so here we have transformer right and then uh, after transformer right so here you can see this is a transformer used to for connect the state comp to the power system in parallel okay and then here we have uh, lc value right filter inductor right and then the filter inductor will be connected to the voltage source converter because here we are using a, a dual bridge okay dual bridge uh, voltage source uh, converter so why we are using two voltage source converter means so here we are connecting a filter inductor right so that's why we are using this uh, voltage source converter to and then in between the voltage source converter we are using a capacitor DC link capacitor so the this DC link capacitor only provide provide the the particular reactive power and voltage control uh, to the power system okay so based upon the uh, the sag and swell occur in the source side okay so these two voltage source converter that mean connected and parallelly okay you can see that the plus plus will be connected here and minus minus it will be connected here and then we connect this dc link capacitor and then uh, in between this dc link capacitor we are using that uh, lc filter okay so that's why we are using here using two voltage source converter and then this voltage source converter having a uh, state comp control so this control having uh, dc voltage controller okay sorry ac voltage controller and dc voltage controller this is current controller okay when you go inside right here you need to measure the vdc so vdc nothing but uh, the dc link voltage okay we need to measure the dc link voltage and then we need to measure the the voltage of the here in this point you have to measure the voltage and current okay in this point we need to measure voltage and current and it's going to be processed via this controller so first we have to apply the anti-aliasing filter that means we are going to remove the harmonics in the measurements and then next you have to use controller right here we are using controller so here we are um, uh, measuring VABC right from the VABC you have to measure the frequency so here we are going to measure angular frequency and here we are measuring the phase angle with respect to time okay and then here we are having iabc and then from that we are going to convert the vabc iabc quantity so here we are converted the vabc and iabc quantity into uh, id id 
as to that id and iq and vd and vq so here we are going to measure only magnitude so we are taking only vd and vq okay so here we have function so function used to for measuring the terminal voltage based upon that uh, uh, vd and vq okay so here we are measuring the magnitude of that uh, input voltage that means uh, that mean the power system voltage okay here we are measuring the id iq okay so next to process uh, here we are taking that uh, magnitude of the power system voltage and then this is a reference voltage okay vac reference so vac reference here you can see the vac reference which is equal to 1 it has 1 per unit right so here we are providing the ac voltage will be 1 per unit, per unit. so because already that uh, value is converted into per unit here okay so here we are already converted into form of per unit okay we are getting the the AC voltage in the form of per unit. So we have to compare with the one per unit value. So inside when we go inside, right? So we are comparing the AC reference voltage and actual magnitude of the AC voltage and it going to be processed by a PA controller. And here we are measuring the absolute error. Okay. So here we are placing that means here we are tuning this KPK. Okay. And then finally you will get the IQ reference okay so based upon the AC voltage terminal voltage like right, we are getting IQ reference because um, normally we are going to control reactive power based on the based upon the terminal voltage of the system okay so next one is here we have VDC reference so VDC reference is taken from this so here what is the VDC reference 2400 and here we are measuring the actual VDC, that means DC link voltage. So that uh, VDC actual, that means DC link voltage compared with the reference voltage. And then it will be processed by a PA controller, right? So here we are processed by a PA controller, that means difference between reference and uh, actual DC link voltage. And then here we are measuring that uh, absolute error. So it will be provided a ID reference okay so here we are generating id reference based upon the <laughs> dc link voltage okay and next so here we have uh, ip reference and here we have id reference okay if suppose we go for a manual control right reactive power control then we have to provide the reactive power reference q reference and then here we have to take that magnitude so based upon that we have to generate the IP reference but we are not using manual control we are going to control AC voltage regulator and DC voltage control regulator automatically that means we are going to control the real and reactive power automatically and finally see here we have that IP reference here we have ID reference okay so this is an ID IQ actual okay so this ID IQ and the ID IQ reference, ID IQ actual and ID IQ reference going to be compared here and passes via this PA controller and finally it will be generated the control voltage in the form of VD and VQ. So here we have absolute error for a both controller, current controller. Okay, here we are measuring the uh, absolute error for a both current controller. And finally, we have VDVQ, so that going to be converted into modulating signal. Okay, so this modulating signal going to be used for uh, that means here after generating that modulating signal, right? And uh, um, uh, that means omega value, right? So that going to be converted into actual reference voltage. Okay, so here we got to convert based upon that uh, modulation index and the uh, angular frequency you have to convert it to ABC form okay so this is a final reference a control voltage in the form of ABC so that going to be used to for this control this voltage source converter and this voltage source converter okay so this structure known as a state com okay so here we are doing that uh, optimization of KA KP and KA of the uh, AC voltage controller <laughs> DC voltage controller and current controller so once this code is executed right what happen uh, for uh, during this call function right this one when this 
in section executed or this instruction executed automatically it will be comes here so here we are open and then we are calling that state com simply model and then you have to write the value of kp k k d from the, from the hash k d optimization okay and then after simulation of this uh, that means state com right so we are getting the value of e1 e2 e3 e4 from that uh, simulating model and then you are taking the average value and then finally it will be stored in the z and then uh, this value going to be based upon this value we are going to find out the kp k k yeah k a value of that uh, ac voltage controller dc voltage controller and the current controller now i am going to simulate this model you can see that now we are getting the detail right is optimizing right so it will be executed for at an iteration and finally you will get the best result from the cascade optimization okay like kpk kd value for that so kpk value for ac voltage controller dc voltage controller and the current controller okay so that will be displayed in this command window so you can use that kp ka and kd uh, so you, you can use that kp ka and then you can finally simulate this model okay so this is a final result we are getting for a uh, ac voltage controller dc voltage controller and current controller so this is a result of uh, the hash state optimized pa controller okay so you will get the perfect result in this system okay so this is a result of that we convergence uh, convergence graph for the uh, ask and optimization so after 10th iteration you will get this on the pad parameter okay so this result you can see here right is always maintained at the uh, one per unit right any if suppose any changes in grid voltage is not affect the load voltage and also you can see that capacitor voltage also maintained constant 